Now on 11 at 11, hours of tension after a suspicious package is delivered to the Diocese of Covington. The investigation into who sent that package is now underway. Night on your sides, Kristen Swilly spoke with investigators about that incident tonight. She's joining us now live from Covington with what we know right now. Kristen. Yeah, good evening, guys. Right now, we do know that as of right now, there's nothing suspicious or dangerous inside of that package. But this whole thing really speaks to just how nervous people are following threats after the incident that happened in Washington, D.C. with those Covington Catholic students. The area of Madison Avenue and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard was blocked off around 430. That's when an unexpected package arrived at the diocese offices. Firefighters say it wasn't explosive, but haven't yet said what it is. Agents from the FBI were called just in case. The Cincinnati bomb squad was also there. The all clear was given just before 7 Wednesday night. Unless like all the kids are getting high fives as they, uh, as they come up. The extra security at Covcath High School was plain to see from Chopper 9. Classes were called off Tuesday because of security concerns. Kenton County Commonwealth Attorney Rob Sanders says threats have come in from across the country. This is easily, uh, without a doubt, the largest scale investigation that we've ever undertaken um, anywhere close to Kenton County. Regarding the incident in D.C. last week, the Diocese of Covington has now hired an independent third party investigator to look into everything that happened to help it decide what to do next. Now, the U.S. Postal Service is also investigating that package, and despite what happened here tonight, they do not have extra security at the diocese offices behind me here. They do say there are going to be increased police patrols throughout the area. Reporting live in Covington this evening, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.